Hi, this is Craig Stocks with Craig Stocks Arts. I want to share a tip with you today on a uh, trick I used recently to extract an element from a photo to, to use in a composite. And this is the end result that I'm after. This was a, a photo of a young senior and she's a soccer player, obviously from the photo. And this is the picture pretty much straight out of the camera. And you may notice that even though her shirt says BHS Raiders, the scoreboard back here says Pekin Dragons. And that's because her home field didn't really have a scoreboard to use and it didn't have these nice trees and the autumn foliage in the background. So we used another school's field for the photos. And you can even see her father back here holding a, a scrim because of the bright sunlight. So what we wanted to do is change this photo into this photo so that it reflects the Bloomington Raiders and in particular I wanted this BHS logo uh, for the top of the scoreboard and also for, to use another high resolution versions or composites that we might do and the problem is the starting point for that logo the only thing I had available was this picture from the BHS website and it's a pretty low resolution picture. The, the total picture here is only a thousand pixel, pixels wide and this portion is only about 400 pixels but this is the BHS that we're after. So to extract that the first thing we can do is get rid of the extraneous pieces of the picture so if I just press C to bring up the crop tool and we can crop out all of the extra and focus just on the BHS. Now, what I found is the easiest way to do this is to simply drop a threshold adjustment layer on top of this and what that threshold adjustment layer does is drive everything to pure black or pure white and then this pivot point determines what's black and what's white. In other words, what's the middle point. And by moving it to the left, we can find a spot where we get a pretty clean image of the B and the H and the S with just a little bit of extraneous information coming through as black from that background image. Now, normally I would try to do only non-destructive editing but in this case this is a pretty simple fix. What I need to do is just hide some of this information on the uh, background, this shadow line that we're getting here and some of the, the hardware over here is coming through as black. So the easiest way to do that is just go to the right on the background layer choose my brush tool and painting with 100% opacity and with white as the foreground color just simply paint some white onto the background and clean up those lines that we don't want to come through and you can see what I actually did was just get rid of some of that line and this is the end result now. The problem though, if you zoom in, this is pretty pixelated. It's pretty ragged edges and to try to blow that up to an 8 by 10 size it would look pretty bad. So the trick I found actually blurs the image and then applies a threshold adjustment again and that really cleans up the edges. Let's walk through that example. First thing I want to do is create a composite layer that has just this black and white version to do that I'll hold shift control alternate on a PC and press the E key and that gives me just a black and white copy and I'm gonna make a second copy to work on just for illustration purposes so I'm gonna press control J to jump that up to a new layer so we have two copies one original and one to work on what I want to do is apply a Gaussian blur so I'll choose filter blur Gaussian blur and this is a pretty good pretty good blur level you want something that looks like it's pretty smooth and kind of averages out all of those pixel areas and when I get that just press OK now we want to res this up so we'll choose image image size and let's go from 387 pixels let's go all the way up to 3000 pixels so 10 times the size and zoom back out so we can see the whole image. Now if I apply, apply another threshold adjustment layer, like magic, it's cleaned up and we can 
adjust that size a little bit. Uh, we can view the original. Just to see how well it uh, it actually fits. And that looks like a pretty good fit to me. Uh, it's smoothed up the edges. And if we zoom in, we can see that we don't have all those big pixelated chunks, that this would be smooth enough now that we could use a pretty large size. So that's the trick. Uh, by blurring and then applying a threshold adjustment, you can average out the, the ragged edges and get a nice clean copy of an extracted image. So if you have any questions or want more information, feel free to get in touch with me through my website at craigstocksarts.com. And hope you have a good day, and I will talk to you again later.